Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Family Realm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Hello. Hello. Ah. My goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Um, today we're just... Rockets everywhere. My goodness. Um, today we don't really... I don't... At least I don't have any really big plans. Um, stuff. Things. Hootie hoo. Yada yada. Um, pretty much we're not going to be streaming tomorrow night because it's Christmas Eve and we got to watch the Muppet Christmas... Um, special. I just completely blanked. Holy crap. Carol. M Miss Christmas Carol thing. I, I... My brain is not braining, yes. So we will not be streaming tomorrow night because Muppet Christmas Carol and Christmas Eve. And then we will not be streaming the next day because Christmas. And Doctor Who. A and Doctor Who. Yes. Both very important. So... <laughs> My plans for Christmas is either racing with a friend on highway or just trying to recreate Need for Speed Underground, says Justin Huey. That, ah, my goodness, we just had a little bit of random. That's not a good place for rubber banding when I'm trying to fly through the thingy and dying. Oh, there we go. Were you flying through the eye? Yeah. Sweet. And it went when I tried. So let's see. I'm over here at the Christmas area. What? Is there anything else we need over here? Um. Yeah, I, I, I really can't. The llamas are still two by two by color. They, they have not rearranged themselves. They've, uh, they've assorted. They've, yeah, they've, apparently this is the way they wanted to be all along, and so they are finally there. <laughs> hello, penguins. And hello, <laughs> yes, hello, Le you're a good little Le Le. yes you are. So I guess, yeah, I guess we're done then, over here. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> All right, I was like double checking because I was like, is there anything else that we needed to do down here? But I don't think there really is. One of the hoglins, there we go, was slacking off. Alrighty, so I guess I'm just gonna head back to the, <laughs> head back to the the map art and just keep tearing that down unless anybody has like some super cool thing they want me to do. Um, I'm just fiddling with my tower. As one does. Is that a euphemism? That's for me to know and you to find out. <sighs> okay. Over to map art, I suppose. You're just so enthused about doing the map art tearing down, aren't you? Well, it's it's like I get like I get like so into it that I like stop noticing chat and stuff when I do it, so I feel bad, kind of. <laughs> Although it's the perfect opportunity, it's the perfect opportunity to chat, though. Yeah. Mm, Justin says it's been a long time since I played Man Minecraft. The last time I played it was for a medieval fantasy video playthrough. Well, that sounds fancy. Yeah, we play Minecraft every night because we're a weird family. <laughs> This is our thing. Um, the other two actually got me into Minecraft. They started it. It's all their, all fault. their fault. We're the bad influences. And then I just kind of took a, took it and ran. Yeah, just 
took it just that one little bit too far as one usually does. And I was like, hey, let's stream. And they were like, ah. Oh, I need to get out. You were working on the candy cave for the sniffers, weren't you? Well, we need to like, um, wow, that was laggy. You need to, um, fix a way in so that's not like, you know, dangerous to get a good Especially entrance. Especially if you're going to bring a sniffer over. It wasn't, it was not fancy. It was time consuming. I literally rebuilt a stronghold and made it my base in one playthrough episode, which was like five to six hours. That sounds like super grindy and like a lot of work. Wow. Do we have my seal? Thomas is not uh, mic'd because he doesn't want to be. So I will often like, just like tell you guys, like if I'm like just talking and you're like, what the hell are they talking about? It's because I'm talking to Thomas. Um, do we have mycelium? I think we have some. If not, I mean, Atlantis is right next to a mushroom island. I suspect that today is going to be a bad internet day because I am getting a lot of like weird lag stuff going on so I apologize ahead of time if we get like if there's any kind of stream interruptions yeah we're hoping that perhaps after the holiday season we can take some time and figure out what the heck's going on a little better Indeed, I had my inventory full of shulker boxes of either spruce or stone bricks. Yeah. We do like full shulkers, though. Full shulkers are nice. I've done some epically large builds in my time, but I usually take, like, a lot of time to do them because I end up getting like distracted halfway through <laughs> and then I'm like oh yeah that's right I was doing this thing that's why most of my like time lapses that I have posted on YouTube are shorter because I hate having to like mesh like to stitch together multiple um, replay videos to make a full replay <laughs> time lapse so i'm just like eh, if i can't get it done in one session it's not going to be a time lapse <laughs> not gonna lie i have a lot of episodes on youtube but it's set to private for some reason i don't know why but i'm thinking about what the next episode should be about well, you shouldn't set them to private. Let people watch them. <laughs> it's like, I have no illusions that I'm going to be like any kind of like super popular YouTube star or anything, but I like put all of my stuff like so people can watch because it's like, yeah. There will occasionally be some rando out there who wants to see my thing and why should I stop them? <laughs>
Atlantis isn't that far away. Oh, you got lost. I, I thought I had signs up. And you still got lost even though I had signs up. You were talented. Truly. I have this feeling the next episode should be about exploring the world or something. I'm tired of building right now. Exploring is fun. I like exploring. I usually wait until after I have wings to explore. It, or at least until I have like a really good like food source. Like when you're starting a world or whatever. Because I hate the whole like being hungry in game. I really... I understand that some people love that mechanic, but I really, really dislike I hate the whole, like... I wish there were, like, different levels of difficulty beyond, like, n easy, normal, and all of that. It's like, I want one where it's like, you don't have to worry about eating. Because I hate the way it affects, like, running and, like, regen and stuff. It's called creative mode. No, because I don't want just creative mode. I like the I like everything else about like being in hard mode. But that Well that and the monsters scare me and kill me a lot, but that's just because I'm bad at the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't well I don't like see I don't mind being bad at the game and having to fight monsters and dying because I'm bad at the game. I, but I do dislike having to do that whole, oh, I'm starving, I have to go find food and stuff part of the game. I don't know. I'm like, I know it's really kind of weird. Like Adventure Plus or something. Yeah, kinda. It's like, I don't mind, like, like I said, I don't mind, well, I do mind because some, you know, dying a lot does kind of suck. But I don't mind that I'm like bad at the fighting and like get killed by monsters a lot. I like that part doesn't bother me as much as like the whole like, oh, I'm exploring, but I have to be at a walk pace because I haven't seen a cow to slaughter in like two days or whatever. And if I take too much damage now, I'm going to die because I'm starving and, and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. It, it's that It's really kind of weird. And I understand that, like, a lot of people don't care either way and think that's kind of silly. And that's fine. Thomas is like, that does sound rather annoying. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Ooh, my inventory is getting full. I have a little room for stuff. Hydrate! Oh, I suppose. I don't like, I don't know if people can actually hear that, but I really do hydrate, but I just, you know, don't do that whole like slurpy slurpy thing to make it sound, make noisy on my microphone. But I do appreciate it, thank you. Staying hydrated is indeed important. Oh, what the? I'm not getting out of hole for just one piece. Like, can I even pick that up? No, I don't have any room in my inventory. Rawr. Where'd it go? There it is.
<laughs> See you next time. <laughs> you have fun making your episode. Do some good exploration. Find cool things. Dragon Lair. Well, that does sound exciting and also scary. need mushrooms? Where are you looking for the mushrooms? Are you looking in the food chest or the growy things chest? Um, there might be more brown mushrooms up in the brewing stuff. But you can grow mushrooms on Podzil too, so you can just like grow a bunch and if you have like a fortune What do you need the mushrooms for? Oh, you're doing a mushroom cave. Very cool. Well, you know, I'm half oblivious to pretty much everything. I was going to offer to lend you my fortune axe, but then I realized I don't actually have a fortune axe in this world. Did you check in the um, armor chest? There's a shulker full of a whole bunch of random diamond tools. No axes. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you want me to see if I have a fortune axe? Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a fortune hoe. I have a fortune shovel. I have a fortune pick. I do not have a fortune axe. Yeah, I have two of Fortune and Silk Shovel, Fortune and Silk Hoe, Fortune and Silk Pick, but for some reason the axe is the only one that I don't have two of. Oh yeah, me too. I don't end up needing it all that terribly often, I think, so it's just you end up sticking with one until you actually need the other. And I put Silk on mine because I kept getting bees nests while I was growing trees.
Yeah, you might as well. I mean, you're gonna need it for all the mushrooms you need to get, and like... That's handy. And then you'll have it. What do you need level? Oh, for your- I was like, what do you need levels for? You're just chopping down <laughs> mushrooms, but you need levels to enchant your axe. <laughs> well, thankfully, we have- we are spoiled for choice when it comes to XP farms. Mm. What am I doing? Nobody knows. No. Map farm. <laughs> map farm. I actually really kind of like that. I'm map farm. I'm at the map farm. <laughs> uh, I've run out of some stuff. And to cook some stuff. Highlighting glow lichen in the schematic verifier doesn't 
actually highlight the lichen in the thingy though if it's already placed. That's a bummer. I'm just hoping to make it easy to find all the glow lichen because it likes to blend in.
thunderstorm if anybody wants to go play in lightning. <laughs> I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Yeah, it looks like it stopped. No, sometimes it doesn't. Good thing we didn't get too excited about that one.
but well that's a tall mushroom <laughs> that is a very tall mushroom usually the red ones are really short but that's like a super tall one Alrighty. I think I got most of the glow lichen that I like will be easiest to find and like I'm sure like we'll end up covering a bunch up or whatever next time we go to build, but at least this keeps me from having to sit at the glow lichen farm and use up even more um stuff. Please, there's one right there. It's very stealthy. You know, we should put a bunch of glow lichens around the holiday area since reindeer like to eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, moose moss. Yeah, glow lichen for them, for the reindeer. Oats. I don't know where, but like. We should definitely like put a bunch of it around somewhere.
Zero out of one player sleeping. What was up with that? It was mightiness. Sometimes I think the game just gets a little confused. Well, don't we all? I mean, really. We can't, we can't hold Minecraft to higher standards than we hold ourselves, can we? <laughs> no Christmas cards in the mailbox. How are you doing, buddy? Oh no, all the puzzle has gone missing. <laughs> Why'd you dig up the puzzle? Do you need it for your mushroom thingy too? You blew some of it up. Did you have a little creeper accident? You didn't have a creeper accident. You just, what, took TNT to the podzel? What? Why were you blowing up the trees? 
because you want. And it seemed like a fun way to get rid of them, he says. You're a little weird. Boom indeed. I don't know. I thought you put it there. It was it was it Platty that did it. I just blame it on her. La la la. Well, that didn't work. I went to jump and it decided that instead of jumping I had actually double tapped my... ...space bar so it blew me right over the edge of the tree. Same color as mycelium? Not really. Mycelium's its own kind of thing. Why? Well, it's kind of like what? Like a purpley gray? So the closest matches to mycelium uh, include gravel, uh, various dead corals. Yeah. Well, that would kind of make kind sense. sense. If you wanted a little more on the purples. Um, you could try magenta or purple terracotta. Right. You're welcome. In fact, the purple looks like it would go nicely next to it to me in particular. Purple, purple. would probably go good with it too. No, purple doesn't have enough gray. It's not saturated enough. No, oh, that's true. The uh, purple terracotta is nicely saturated. Light gray terracotta too. Like the light gray terracotta is like the grays in the mycelium, and the purple terracotta is like the purples in the mycelium. Hmm. That that tracks. That makes sense. There's this lovely app, if anyone is interested in, uh, where you can select blocks and use a dropper to pick colors from the block and it'll pull up other blocks that go with it. Uh, it's uh, block colors. I was gonna say, you better put Block colors dot app. I'm gonna wanna link that. I'm gonna wanna be able to get to that one again. Yeah, it's, it's very handy. I've used it on a number of my builds to get ideas and stuff. That one probably goes right up there with like the gradient app that does like gradients from thingies from the block. Oh, good things.
I'm going to move this flower because it makes it very difficult to get around in here. Especially with we we already have the kitty litter box getting in our way. <laughs> My god, when I put it there, I thought for sure someone would just break it and get rid of it the next day. I didn't expect you guys to leave it there for two months. Yeah, yeah pretty close, I think. Are you fighting with the villagers? What are you trying to do? Oh.
Okay. I think I'm pretty much done for the day at this point. So we're pretty close to the end times anytime anyways. So I think I'm gonna do a sign off here. Alrighty, everybody. As always, I hope you had a great day. Um, reminder that we will not be streaming tomorrow or the next day because, you know, holidays and Doctor Who and Muppet Christmas Carol and all that fun stuff. <laughs> but, um, so I will not be seeing you tomorrow, but I will be seeing you later. And I hope you all have a great night. Bye!